right, welcome back to the Morning Drill. 11 minutes past the hour of 8 o'clock. This is a uh, Monday morning. We're joined by some of the cast and crew of Titusville Summer Theater's production of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Uh, let's have you introduce yourselves. We'll start in the way, way back. <laughs> My name is Kevin Vincent. I play Lumiere, the candlestick. Very the nice. Jerry Knickerbocker, music director. Uh, ben Snyder, I play the Beast. I'm Caddy Lon. I play Belle. All right. Well, welcome, guys. Good morning. Uh, Summer Theater's production, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, this week, what, uh, 30th, 1st, and 2nd, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, a little bit earlier this year than, than normal. Usually it's, what, the 1st or 2nd weekend of July? Right. This is one week earlier than what we normally do. We usually go right after the 4th. Okay. So uh, don't be surprised. Look for it this week. Big shows, which means tech rehearsals i mean you guys are into it now how's the show been going <laughs> go ahead cat <laughs> you have more to do than anybody i mean i think it's it's fine you, you excited you ready to go yeah all right uh, we got let's see i think three full run throughs now um and so i think that really helped because once we had the whole um product there so to say we could see where the trouble spots were and we can just keep ironing ironing them out so got two more run throughs with all of our costumes and techs and uh, ben i understand that the the trouble spots have been you yeah pretty much it's just like fine and then ben and then, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so a lot of notes for you mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well when did you guys uh, decide that uh, beauty and the beast was the production for this year we were actually supposed to do it last year and then it was pulled from us we ended up doing curtains sort of last minute. Uh, they pulled it because supposedly it was still on tour, but then we received the rights to do it this year. It's quite an undertaking. Yeah. So uh, you found out then last year that you were going to do it this year. That's right. Okay. So uh, when did the, the, the rehearsals begin? When did tryouts begin or the auditions? The tryouts began actually in May, and we started in May doing the... Um, maybe the trials were even April. I don't remember exactly, but we started in May. We've had six weeks of rehearsals. Six weeks of rehearsals. Right. That's really a short period of time to put on a production like this. Yeah, for a show this big, um, this the costumes are are more involved than any to get used to. the The set is kind of intricate, so it, it's a big show to put on with uh, six weeks. We rehearse um, Monday through Thursday for two hours each night. Wow, so they're they're pretty intense rehearsals to get that done. And usually with the summer theater production you're not just acting in it but you're also helping out with sets or assisting with costumes somehow has that been the case this year have you found that and kevin you've been involved with music uh, right. for these in the past so right I, well I, i'm in the show but then also uh working on the set construction i did that uh, james mcginnis did all of the set painting he plays lefou in the show but did a beautiful job also uh painting all the detail work because because that's not my expertise so i'll build it and leave it sit blank somebody else has to come in so that was him uh, how about you guys when did you know that uh, Beauty and the Beast was going to be the production this year and that you really wanted to have a role in it um, well I kind of have uh, someone on the board who lets me know things who let, lets me know things yeah uh, and she's been producing for just a, a couple years <laughs> your mom yeah 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 now she's been part of summer theater for a while and uh-huh. <laughs> loves every minute of it um, yeah, so I was actually still at college when the auditions were, so I had to get a video ready and send that in. But, yeah, I mean, it's summer theater. I know it's going to be a part of it anyway. So, How about you, Kat? When did you say, oh, this is great, I, I want to I roll? Um, well, I had heard that last year we were supposed to do it, and then we didn't end up doing it, and I was still involved with youth theater, so... I couldn't be in the show last year, but luckily it got changed to this year, so I was like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to audition, and it's my favorite Disney movie, so I had to. <laughs> Did you want Belle? I just, right, wanted, you just wanted to, to be part. in it, yeah. Uh, favorite roles? Is it is it your own role, or is there somebody else you look at and say, boy, that, that's a great role? I, I mean, the duo of Cogsworth and Lumiere is like the, I mean the funniest part of the show and probably like they were the first two to really get into character and really run with it so 
Okay. Is that the role you wanted? I, it, well, it's the role my daughter wanted me to have. <laughs> kind of, kind of interesting. Um, I, again, I just I like being in the shows. I was happy to be part of it. Um, but but when I tried out, she said, you've got to put down, you want Lumiere as, as your preferred role. So she was pretty excited when I got it. And, and uh, Robbie Dello is Cogsworth. And he was actually a former student of mine. And we get along together great. So. Um, when I found out he was Cogsworth, I was almost more excited for that than just that I was Lumiere. I thought, oh, oh we're going to have great. so much fun. I, I said, they're going to have to really tone us down. And so far, they haven't. So it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, talk about uh, the other cast and crew, because it takes a lot of people to put on a production like this. It certainly does. We have approximately 40, I think. I'm not certain exact numbers, but I think we have approximately 40 in the cast. You should know numbers. You need it to count music, don't you? <laughs> well, I do know that. I okay. can count as far as 12, because you never go past 12, 8. <laughs> Um, we have quite a young cast this year, a surprisingly young cast. Uh, some old old timers like me, uh, obviously also, but we have quite a young cast and they're working hard. They're really working hard and doing a beautiful job. And it's being directed by Father Jay Schultz. And of Father course, Jay, that's yeah. a name very familiar with folks in the Titusville area. Right. So he, he's back, and this is his, what, 2000 uh, production? <laughs> I think I heard him say something about 140-some. 140, really? I believe that's he, what he He said. knows the number. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, and, and, and I think the director role sort of changes every year, right? Every other yes. year, Father Jay comes Depends back. Depends on who's available. Who's available, okay. Right. Has he directed a, a form of this uh, production before, or is this the first to him? I don't know. Uh, yeah, not that I know of. I, I haven't okay. heard if he has done it before. Right. Now, you guys are obviously familiar with the movie. So when it came to the production, uh, the stage show, uh, did you think, okay, I wonder how much is going to change or how much is the same? Were you surprised at all by this version of it? Actually, I think this stage version follows the movie more closely than most of the uh, stage versions. Or I guess I should say the stage version didn't come first in this case. Right. Normally, okay. that it's a reverse order. Um, there were some songs added, but basically it's very much like the movie. Or yes, like the movie. Yeah, for the audience. I mean, if they've seen the movie, they know what to expect. That's okay. Coming in, that's... <laughs> That's the show. But with the Titusville twist on it. That's right, yeah. That, that's the beauty, I think, of regional theater is that it's so neat to be able to come in and see your neighbors, your, you know, in, in this case, you know, so my students coming to see their teacher, right. you know, wearing candlesticks on his hand and <laughs> dancing around. And yeah, it, it's neat to be able to see those talents that, that people have in the community and what they bring to it. Kat, you mentioned you like this movie. Yeah. Uh, your favorite scene in the movie same, uh, would you say that's your favorite part of the stage production, or do you have a, a different favorite aspect to uh, to the stage? Um, I think my favorite parts in the show, like the opening number is really nice when everybody comes out and says bonjour, and that's still in this show, and I like it, but also the added songs make it a lot more personal, I guess, than the movie. So would you say in the movie there's a you know a nice big introduction to mm -hmm. Belle? Do you get a nice big introduction? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> now how about the Beast, Ben? Are we going to hate the Beast at first? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the movie again to prepare for the role, or did you stay away from it to kind of keep a different perspective on it? Um, <clears throat> I like to just kind of see what all is out there. So I watched the movie again, and then I looked up um, a bunch of recordings of the stage versions to see what other people did. Um, and I don't like to copy exactly what people did. I just like to see what their thoughts were on the character and then read through everything to see what my thoughts are on the character and then, you know, see what I want to do with it. Kevin, how about you? I'm just the opposite. I haven't rewatched the movie, haven't, you know, I've, I've almost intentionally tried not to watch other things because... By the time we got into rehearsals, I had my own way of doing it, a, you know, a certain delivery or, or something, and, and it seemed to work for me, so I didn't want to get too many different ways in my head. If, if this was the way I was playing the character, I was happy with it and, and stayed there. Uh, now, Ben, uh, the guys behind you, I'm sure uh, you admire greatly. You're going to school for music. Mm -hmm. Uh, so have you been watching them and how they uh, are conducting the orchestra or, or conducting the music in this show? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I suppose I've been um, kind of watching over the years 
just directing and stuff and I've probably been a pet peeve now because I like to be a what, what would I call it um, backseat director <laughs> like backseat driver like oh how, how and Jerry you're right behind him so you can just smack <laughs> him right now no uh, I like that idea I'll do you. <laughs> uh, so of course I don't have any influence I just like to give my ideas all right. Uh, 821 is our time. This is the Morning Drill on Stream Television and the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. Uh, the show is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tickets are $10. Can Seven they get o'clock curtain time. 7 o'clock. So you're going to want to get there like at 3 or 4, right? Because there's going to be a line of people to there's watch this production. There's people camping out. Right. Yeah. And we were going to try to go to that live shot this morning, but we were told, don't build the hype yet. Just... <laughs> so uh, Thursday, Friday, curtain, 7 o'clock, get their early tickets. Can you get those in advance? Yes, you can buy them in advance at the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and of course, we'd, we'd love that to, to have an idea of what to expect. Uh, they will also be available at the door at, you know, if, if they're not sold out. Okay, so a couple uh, opportunities to get your tickets. Cat, uh, the costumes, the sets, when it all comes together, is that what you love about theater? Yeah, I think... A lot of times in shows you can lose like one aspect but we have a lot of like things that we've gotten we have amazing costumes and the sets that mr vinson built <laughs> and that james mcginnis painted are beautiful and all of the music is amazing we have a new lighting system it's all it's all good <laughs> ben how about you what's it like to get to this week and start seeing everything come together um it it's nice because like i said you can just like start running it um and no longer it's um let's do this all right stop no need to figure out what we're going to do here like by now it, it better be set in stone and we're um you know just keep running it jerry how about you when you start to bring in the 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 pit players we had our first rehearsal last night or yesterday afternoon the orchestra and, and what's that like for you to bring those folks in? Probably I had only heard about half of these people play. This was a new group. We have a 16-piece orchestra. Wow. And I'd only heard about half of them play, so I was a little apprehensive yesterday afternoon, but it came together beautifully. And we have, just like with the show, we have three French horns, for instance. One of, one of them is a retiree from the Army Band. Another one is a senior in high school. And another one is about halfway in between. Uh, we have a real, real uh, span of ages and experience in it. One girl, this will be her first show. Wow. Uh, she's a freshman in college. She'll be a sophomore next year. So, Kevin, for, for you, I, I'm sure it's, it's quite amazing. Uh, and probably, for, at least for me, when I've done sound in the past, I'll, I'll come in early on just to s kind of get an idea of what, who's in it, what's going on. And then I come in, you know, a week or two before the show, and it is amazing to me what a difference, you know, just a couple weeks makes. And then even that, the, the night before opening night to opening night, how everybody just, I, I don't know how it happens, but that's, to me, that's the magic of a, of a theater production. What is it for you that brings you back every year? Um, part of it right now is my family my wife is the choreographer for this my daughter's in it um, so it's neat I get to do a show with them uh, it's neat to do a show with former students or current students to be able to to like he said the intergenerational aspect to do that um, I I'm usually involved each year whether it's playing in the pit or being on stage um, I think it's just the excitement of being able to to be something you're not, um, you know. I'm not French. I'm not a candlestick. But even beyond that, the, the whole character is just, you know, it's it's such a witty character, and it, it just, it's great to be able to try and create this experience that, for those three nights, that's what it is, um, you know. And, and you go through that progression every every show I've been in. Two weeks out, I say, there's no way. It's not going to happen. We're going to have to cancel. You know, but we've got too much left to do. And then, you know, you, you start adding in all those pieces. And I'm excited to, to have the orchestra tonight. You know, that's, that's a whole different aspect to be able to sing with the orchestra. Tracy uh, Smedley does a phenomenal job accompanying. Yeah. But when you add in all those different uh, instruments, it's just something else. So all of a sudden you get to this week, and, and it's that excitement, I think, brings you back time after time to, to be able to, to see all of that come together that 
was just on paper. You know, six weeks ago it, it was in the director's heads, it was on the paper, and you, you said, yeah, I think we can do this. And to be able to say, now we're really doing this and, and it's going to be great. Jerry, uh, it's probably fascinating for you to, to see all this talent around you yes. and that they're not just actors on a stage, but they're also helping out or they have an interest in, in the music or the costumes. And there's more to it than just acting. A lot of these folks would be happy even you know being behind the scenes doing something. Oh, definitely. These people are, what's really exciting, like Kevin said, a lot of these people are former students and you see a totally different aspect of them than you would in the classroom. Um, and as you just said, it's really, when you see the people that are willing to go into all of the different aspects of the show, they're getting experience in all of these different areas, uh, they're going to be the future. You've been doing this for a few years. What brings you back to it every year? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love doing it. I just love doing it. Um, and tonight, we lose a lot of flexibility because as Kevin said, Tracy has been playing piano and if somebody comes in a measure early, one of the singers comes in a measure early, a beat early, she just automatically picks it up. Tonight, we go with an orchestra. An orchestra doesn't allow you that flexibility. Uh, they have to be very accurate. And Ben, for you, when you're on stage and you have the orchestra now to play off of, does that add a little bit more to the performance, you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's a certain energy that it kind of brings with it, um, as well as some cues that maybe weren't in the piano part. <laughs> there, there's one song I have where I listen to the CD a lot, and I'm always waiting for like a, um, a drop from the low brass. I think we have trombones, he said. Bass trombone. Yeah, um, but it isn't in the piano part. And so uh, I was like, uh, and it's not there. So <laughs> it'll be nice to have the full um, sound there. Tonight. And when you graduate from uh, Slippery Rock and you're teaching in the classroom, are you going to be the next Jerry Knickerbocker or Kevin Vinson? Are you going to be directing the, the band at a summer theater performance or a winter theater performance? If I'm, not on, if I'm not on stage, I'm sure I'll be down in the pit doing something. All right. Kat, what's your favorite line in this uh, production? Mm, I, I don't know. I like um, when Gaston comes up to me, he tries to take my book, and I say, Gaston, you are positively primeval, and then I try and walk away. I like that part. <laughs> uh, I take it you and Ben share a lot of lines, obviously. Eh, some. Some. <laughs> Can you give us just a little sample of one? Most of them are just short, like, yelling at each other lines. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's take it. Come on, Ben. Give us something. Um, what about the, um, where you're fixing my arm? Oh, great. <laughs> Don't do that. Ow. It hurts. It wouldn't hurt as much if you'd just hold still. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't have run away. Well, maybe I wouldn't have run away if you hadn't frightened me. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. That's it. Yeah! <laughs> Kevin, how about you? You have a line you want to share with us? What's your favorite line? <laughs> um, I get to do the introduction to be our guest, so, you know. Ah, Cherie, mademoiselle, it is with greatest pride and deepest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Yeah, very nice. Can you wave your arms, Jerry? Just give us something. <laughs> that looks right fantastic. There, yeah. yeah. You'll see him uh, conducting the pit Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right. Looking forward to it. Again, get your tickets. The Titusville Chamber has them. Get them early because I'm sure this thing's going to be sold out. It's a popular movie. And, Kat, as you said, it's one of your favorite Disney films, correct? Mm -hmm. So you can tell everybody just loves this show. Get out and see it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Last words, guys. What do you want to say? Come and see us. Come and see you. And be their guest? Be our guest. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and joining us this morning. Thank you. Break a leg. All righty. Final look at news coming up next. Mm -hmm.